Alright, Reject fans, YouTubers, uh, it's game three, just finished up watching it, Cavs lost, like I said, they were going to lose, Golden State came on top, you know, Cavaliers were down by, no, they were up by 11, sorry, in the third quarter, and, you know, Ca Golden State just went on a run on a run in, uh, in the last, in what, 10 minutes in the fourth quarter, they just were non-stop action, non-stop action. And you know you got key players like Clay Thompson. He went big this this game. Uh, he went for 30 points this game, and he just all he played a phenomenal defense against Kyrie. Now, you know Kyrie, give respect to him too as well. Kyrie ended up with 30 plus points, um, but you know he was solid. He was very solid this game. A lot better than the last two games, and it, it just it would it, it could have gone somewhere else. You know what I mean? Could have gone in a whole different direction if Cleveland would have stayed the run in the fourth quarter. But they ran out of gas. And I think that's one thing I predicted in my preview before this was the fact that if Golden State keeps up with their offense, then Cleveland is just going to run out of gas. Cleveland is not fast enough. They're, they just they don't have the type of people to keep up with their momentum. And I think one thing was is that a lot of their key players or the bench players in Cleveland just wasn't producing for LeBron. LeBron did what he could. He almost averaged a triple-double this game. But... You know, a lot of the a lot of his teammates just were not knocking down their shots like they were supposed to. I mean, J.R. Smith, go you know, for instance, J.R. Smith was literally, literally missing his threes. I think within the first, you know, two quarters, the first half, they were feeding him the ball, feeding him the ball, and nothing. And then the third quarter comes around. Then he was coming around solid, but you know, it was a little bit too late for that. In the fourth quarter, he went back to being ice again. So it just. It really, it's really a piece that LeBron needs in order for him to want to make a challenge, you know, to Golden State. Because right now it looks like Golden State is gonna sweep the Cavaliers. I'm sorry, it just looks like that right now. Kevin Durant is, he's he's going, he's being phenomenal with this team. He's playing his type of basketball. Um, you know, we did see in the third quarter where Cleveland was ahead. You know, he was out of sync with his rest of his teammates, and he was just really, you know, not there making a lot of mistakes, not getting enough calls on the foul line, and he just, he was missing. He had barely, he had like zero points, literally almost um, the whole quarter until like maybe the last one minute, a minute or two um, before he started making some field goals, maybe about two or three, but other than that, he had, he was like ice cold after the halftime. So it just, it was really weird. Um, Steph Curry, being Steph Curry, knocking down threes, um, Draymond, you know, had a lot of foul trouble, but you know, he was he was a pitiful point in the team. Um, other than that, on the Cleveland side, like you know, you had Kevin Love, who he just got 13 rebounds, I believe, and you know, nine points. So it's like, you know, you were missing something there. He needed to be phenomenal this game. He needed to be Kevin Love from you know Minnesota days and just go off. So I think that's one thing he's really needed to up his game in this game. Now it, they're down three. So I don't know if Cleveland can even make past, you know, the fourth game at home. I think they, it seems to me, it just looks like they're going to be swept in this, in this NBA Finals. And to, be in, and to be all honesty, if that happens, then the whole talk with LeBron being the GOAT is literally out the window because there is no way the GOAT could ever be swept in the Finals. Regardless of what type of team the other team has, super team, fantastic four, whatever you want to call it, it they, there's no way the goat will ever be his title anymore. You know, it is what it is. I'm sorry, guys, but that's just how things roll. If you ain't gonna win in the NBA Finals and you're not gonna have a winning record and you're not gonna beat the best of the best, you ain't the goat. You ain't the goat. You're just a sh just another guy. All right, sorry, but. You know, that's the goals for game three. <clears throat> that's Tony the Kids review. So, you know, stay tuned in. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts and stuff like that on how game three went. So, y'all just take it easy. Have fun. Have a good night. Peace out.